All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to Just Cause Four. Ooh, I can um, I can advance here. Can I? No. Sand stinger to advance. Something tells me this leads into sand stinger. Yeah. That's interesting because there's not like a territory down here locked off. Um, all right, let's do this one. And uh, go around the map and then dive into the center. Go kick some ass down there, hermano. Oh, and I just got the achievement uh, secure every factory, so. Yeah, pretty much all that's left is. Um, I think all that's left is like the actual story stuff, except for the um, little side things, which may or may not do. Hey, Rico. Listen, Cesar, he, eh, he doesn't spend much time around people. Not anymore. Mm. This is a secret agent? See, si, this is Rico. Vera says you have something to show me. Proof. Proof that none of the weather occurring in Solis is natural. Hey. <coughs> yeah, come on, the back. I've got a... Who put that there? Uh, just one minute and I'll have this... Mm. I've been looking for... Okay, uh, right here, and plug this in. Okay, that's Remember, Cesar, stick to what we talked yeah, about. See, see, okay, okay. Okay. The tornado that hit Nueva was the capital, ten years ago. Mina Vendoval a few months later. My plane. All destroyed by tornadoes. Tornadoes controlled by... The reptilians. Mierda, Cesar. Or the Nordics, but I've definitely ruled out the Greys. <laughs> no abductions. Mira. Cesar. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. Watch this. How'd you explain that, huh? Appears out of nowhere, and moments later, a tornado forms around it. Look familiar? Play that again. You've seen it too, haven't you? Go on. I've seen it here and here. This is near Yapa, and this is on a trace. An alien weather A weather research facility. Both the Yapa and Zona Tres are funded by... Oscar Espinosa. The man behind it all. If he even is a man. Let's assume he is a man. Do hmm? you think this UFO is a core we could use to hack into the Yapa network? If we can get to it, see. Si. Impossible. It's inside a tornado. What if I dive down? Dive down. Into the eye of a tornado. 
So, how do we make it happen? I say, we start with this. Let's go over it one more time, bien? Okay. We need to trap and grow a tornado. To do that... We need the wing cannons from the alien weather lab... Zona tres. ...to steer it to the capital. To know where to place the wind cannons... I will use the radar equipment at Ojo de la Pradera. I will need to follow and track the tornado. I'll drive the storm chaser. To build the storm chaser? Si, si. Uh, we need to bring some of the alien weather tracking equipment from the alien weather lab... Si, sir. ...from Zona Tres... ...to Prisa Automobile. And when the time is right, the army disables the wind cannons protecting Mina Vendaval. That will allow the tornado to go towards Nueva Voz. Which the army will evacuate. We build a perimeter of wind cannons around Torre Espinosa. And we grow the tornado there until it's big enough. Then I jump in on Cesar's UFO and do... something. What do we think? <laughs> it's fucking nuts. <laughs> and that's why it's gonna work. So, diving down into a tornado. I stay in place to get out of the states for a few I can put down. Uh, okay. Alright. Idea number two. I'll put the nose of it on the wall. Anyway... 
Let's go do part. Well, it's not really part two, but let's go do the next part of the mission. Thanks for flying with the army of chaos. Was that Storm Tracer? Is the mission name? Let's get it in by 0500, yeah? Alright, we're ready. Let's get going. The last of the Storm Tracer equipment is being loaded. What about the data I extracted? Did you learn anything? Cesar's UFO? I was right. It's one of the prototype cores, only this one is mobile. It works by disrupting the surrounding air temperature. And then this machine creates an artificial updraft, and... moments later... A tornado rips to Solis. Espinosa is testing a weather weapon on his own people. And he tells us Iapa will be our salvation. <laughs> pues. We can't control the tornado core from here, but if you can plug this into the core's flight controller, then I can hijack it and remotely sever its link to the Yapa network. But you need to be close for this to work. Ever fight near a tornado? Ever dive into one? <laughs> Where is Cesar? I thought he'd be here by now. Oh, I'm not sure he's ready for all this just yet. <laughs> we taking bets? Did you get everything I asked for? Claro que sí. Ultrasonic anemometer. Yes. Image console. Say so. CB antenna. All the gear you requested is good to go. Hmm? I'll fly. I'm not so sure about this. I'll fly the helicopter to Prisa Auto. Agale. You sound sure to me. Okay. But you've never flown with him. Go we'll build a storm chaser. Oh. Ah. <laughs> oh, um. You've flown one of those before, right? Uh, taking a minute to adjust to the pendulum effect. Here we go. Uh, there we Guys, go. Guys, the black hand are setting up roadblocks. Good, uh, Be careful. Good. Are they going to shoot at us? Not if I have anything to say about it. Hey, uh, have you ever read Mechanical Failure? You're trying to tell me something? What? No, no. It's a good book. We're good. When I flew from Savion, I would pre-flight every aircraft. Bien, Cesar. I was a great pilot, but uh, when you see an alien spacecraft during a room, Flight and you report it, but they don't listen, so you divert your flights to get photos, and you show them photos, but they still say you're insane. Well... You get fired? See? You get fired. Uh, once we catch that tornado and pin down this spacecraft inside, and the whole world knows it's been off as an alien, then we'll see who's left. What if he's not an alien? You'll see. Surfaced air missile launchers ahead. It's a little hard. What? Um, um, Just hang uh, back, Cesar. I'll deal with the savage. Bad guys. You know, you know, you know. Oh, I gotta, I gotta disable the launchers.
One more. Listen to me. Just keep flying and I'll cover you. You can do this. Just keep flying. See. Okay, I can do this. Sheesh. Okay. I don't know if that helicopter was shot down or like this helicopter just kind of tanked. Guys, we've got some friendly anti-air up ahead. They'll keep the black hand off your back once you're past them. I'm taking a lot of damage, Rico! Happy to see you found the crate. You should be free of the black hand now. Heading to Free South. You did good, Cesar. Right? Yeah. Let's get that weather equipment in sight so you can get to work. Buddy. Getting into 
position. With the weather tracking equipment installed, it brings the total vehicle weight to 7,500 kilos. Very nice. Windproof. But we still need to insulate the interior with tin foil. Uh, see? In the back. Why would we need to insulate the storm chaser with tin foil? Um, reptilians have been documented using weaponized gamma radiation. Pero. Tin foil won't help. You need at least two inches of lead shielding to stop gamma rays. Oh. Okay. Everyone back to work. She looks good. Composite plating. Do you want more tempered glass? I thought we needed an upgrade after they started shooting at us. Horsepower? 625. Th does that happen a lot? Want me getting shot at? No, not really. Yes. All the time. You'll probably want to get used to it too, huh? Uh, how do I do that? I don't know. Get shot at more? Tape deck. I didn't think it was important. You don't think music's important? I thought that building a tornado-proof storm chaser was more important. Yeah, no, I, I guess music is important too, for sure. Bueno. Let me know when she's actually ready, hmm? Okay, so I'll, I'll just put in a tape deck then and... practice getting shot at more. That's an... Well, I guess when you're in Rico's line of work, yeah. Might be some good advice. Get used to being shot at. Um. Alright, I would like to thank everyone very much for watching. If you liked it, then do so. Uh, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. Yeah. Tell your friends to do the same, and I will catch you all in the next one.